Samsung and Apple always seem to go head to head every year in terms of gadget comparison, and we have yet another one on our hands as Samsung has just unveiled its new Galaxy Watch 5. So how does the one year old Apple Watch 7 hold up against the just revealed Samsung Galaxy Watch 5? Well, let's find out. Hello and welcome to Tech Kaiju. Here we discuss the latest tech gadgets and inventions. Make sure to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to click on the notification bell. Also, please give this video a big thumbs up and if you ever have any concerns, questions or opinions about the video, don't be shy, just leave a comment down below. Now let's get into the video. Design and Display The Galaxy Watch 5 is a mostly incremental design improvement over the Galaxy Watch 4 from a year ago and it would be difficult to tell the two apart without a careful look. There is no disputing that the Galaxy Watch's sleek, modern form is very different from the square Apple Watch Series 7 and it's definitely more traditional. However, that's not to say that one is better than the other. This one is completely a matter of preference because no design is fundamentally superior to the other. Similar to one another, both watches provide a wide variety of bands and colors to fit almost anyone's sense of style. Both the Apple Watch Series 7 and the Galaxy Watch 5 have relatively comparable screen technologies. The Apple Watch Series 7 has 368 x 448 that's 41 mm, or 396 x 484 45 mm resolutions on somewhat larger that's 1.61 inch or 1.77 inch displays, while the Galaxy Watch 5 uses the same AMOLED technology as the previous generation and has resolutions of 393 x 396 40 mm, or 450 x 450 that's 44 mm. Although you might assume that the Galaxy Watch 5 will offer more pixels per inch PPI due to its smaller screen size and higher resolutions, this isn't the case because of its spherical display. The four watches have similar pixel densities. The 40mm Galaxy Watch 5 has 321 ppi, while the 45mm Apple Watch Series 7 has 353 ppi. Even on a wearable, most people won't notice the difference. Text-based apps like chatting and email work better on the Apple Watch Series 7's rectangular screen. In contrast to past iterations of Wear OS, Samsung's One UI has improved in making the most of the circular watch face. It's a slight distinction because few people read on their smartwatches, but the Apple Watch Series 7 does have the advantage if wrist-based messaging is your thing. The Apple Watch also has a very effective swipe keyboard if your fingers are too big for the tiny watch keyboard. The control systems on the Galaxy Watch 5 are primarily swipe-based with capacitive bezels and two physical buttons on one side, as Samsung has removed the rotating bezel that was present in the Galaxy Watch 4 Classic. For extra input for scrolling and volume control, the Apple Watch Series 7 has a spinning digital crown on the side, with a sapphire crystal screen that claims a 60% increase in hardness and higher scratch resistance, Samsung has upped its game this year in terms of durability. But that's nothing new for Apple, as Apple has had sapphire crystals available for the Apple Watch for many years now, but only on the pricier stainless steel and titanium variants. Although the Ion X front glass used in the entry-level aluminium Apple Watch is more resistant to cracking than earlier versions, the Series 7 isn't an exception. Both the Apple Watch Series 7 and the Samsung Galaxy Watch 5 are water and dust resistant, albeit to significantly different specifications. The Galaxy Watch 5 boasts water resistance of 5 atmospheres ATM, which is equal to a depth of 50 meters and has IP68 classification. According to ISO standard 22810, is to 2010, the Apple Watch Series 7 has a dust resistance grade of IP6X and a water resistance rating of 50 meters. So overall, for design and display, we're calling it a tie and it's totally up to personal preference here. Battery life and charging The battery and charging capabilities of Samsung's Galaxy Watch 5 have been significantly improved, with battery capacity rising by about 15% and support for quicker charging that allows you to charge the device from 0 to 45% in under 30 minutes. This compares it closely to the Apple Watch Series 7, which was the first model in Apple's lineup to support boost charging. Fast charging doesn't really matter for people who don't wear their watch to bed at night, as both smartwatches could easily last you at least a day of ordinary use. However, it will be important for those who enjoy tracking their sleep. It's a game changer because you can now put your smartwatch on the charger while getting ready in the morning and have it fully charged when you're ready to start your day. Additionally, Samsung and Apple guarantee that 8 minutes of charging before bedtime will provide you with 8 hours of sleep tracking, so if you're concerned about getting through the night, take heart. 
Apple is being far more realistic here than Samsung, which boasts the Galaxy Watch 5 has a battery life of up to 50 hours on a single charge compared to the Apple Watch Series 7's 18 hours. The Galaxy Watch 5 does outperform the Apple Watch Series 7 in that you're much more likely to make it to the next morning on a single charge. However, it falls well short of the 50 hours that Samsung claims and the Galaxy Watch 5 will still require charging at least once every 24 hours. In contrast, the Apple Watch Series 7 frequently needs a fast evening top-up to get you through the night after a long day. It looks like Galaxy Watch 5 takes the lead here. Fitness and Health Tracking The Samsung Bioactive Sensor, which has been expanded to provide more precise readings, is perhaps the most notable upgrade in this year's Galaxy Watch 5. This monitors everything from blood pressure and body fat levels to heart health using a bioelectrical impedance BIA, electrocardiogram ECG, and photoplethysmography PPG heart rate sensor combination. Similar health sensors are present in the Apple Watch Series 7, although blood pressure monitoring is not yet included. However, it's important to note that Samsung only provides this feature in nations where it has gotten regulatory approval and the United States is still not one of them. As a result, for many people, this difference is completely meaningless. The addition of a temperature sensor is where the Galaxy Watch 5 surpasses the Apple Watch. However, according to rumors, the Apple Watch will get this feature with Series 8 that will be revealed next month. However, Samsung did it first. The temperature sensor makes use of infrared technology, which promises precise temperature monitoring. Although it's unclear when we'll start seeing some third-party apps that can benefit from this, at least the hardware is in place. The Galaxy Watch 5 and the Apple Watch Series 7 are basically comparable when it comes to fitness and well-being, though Samsung has a more all-encompassing strategy. Both devices support roughly 100 different workout styles, although Samsung has more built-in tutoring tools available than Apple does, leaving those to third-party apps. The same is true for Samsung's Sleep Coaching, which will provide a customized program to help you improve the quality of your sleep and the sleep tracking capabilities. The Galaxy Watch 5 wins here also. Software and Features The Wear OS platform has seen significant performance and usability enhancements thanks to Samsung's relatively new One UI Watch platform. Nevertheless, it is still inferior to Apple's Watch OS, which is currently on its ninth major iteration. The One UI Watch operating system has a lot of potential, but compared to the more accomplished Apple Watch operating system, it still sometimes feels like a work in progress. In conclusion, Samsung has a lot of catching up to do, but is also making great progress. The Apple Watch is the obvious winner here, and by a mile! Price and availability Pricing for the 40mm Bluetooth version of the Galaxy Watch 5 starts at $280, while adding LTE capability will cost an additional $330. In addition to receiving a free wireless charger duo, people who pre-order will also receive a $75 discount with an acceptable smartwatch trade-in and a $50 Samsung credit to use on accessories. The 41mm GPS model of the Apple Watch Series 7 costs $399 while the 45mm GPS plus cellular model costs $499 and is currently available through Apple. There are also versions in stainless steel and titanium that start at $699 and $799 respectively. The Galaxy Watch 4 is clearly the more affordable of the two, and for most people this might be the most important factor. Although Samsung's Galaxy Watch 5 edges out the competition by including additional health sensors, it is still unclear whether these capabilities will actually be useful over the long term or if they are just extras for show. Additionally, Samsung provides more comprehensive wellness features like sleep coaching out of the box, but the much more robust Watch OS Apple Store ecosystem on the Apple Watch offers a multitude of comparable third-party options. However, the Samsung Galaxy Watch 5 and the Apple Watch Series 7 are both top-tier smartwatches, but in reality the majority of people will discover that the smartphone platform they are using has already decided which of them to use. So which one of these do you think you'd be going for? Let us know your thoughts down in the comments section.